Hey guys, I'm James, and I'm a video game addict. This may be something that you think about with your kids, or you may think about yourself but not know why or understand why. And in today's video, I'm going to break down what I've realized and understood about video games that's caused me to be so addicted to them, but it's taken me the best part of my life to figure this out. I started gaming at 10 years old, and at the age of 17 it got so bad, I ended up playing 32 hours straight. No bathroom break, no food, no water, no nothing. I literally sat on this game and played for 32 hours straight, staring at a screen, and for 6 months of that whole period as well, I used to play 20 hours a day and I used to sleep for four hours a night, and I used to set alarms to wake myself up so that I didn't oversleep so I could get back into my game world. Now, you're thinking this is crazy, or maybe you relate to this, um, depending on who is watching this video right now. And I'm now 34 years old, so 24 years of gaming, and I think I finally figured out why I got so addicted, and so many people in the world have become so addicted to it. So I'm going to share that with you today. I discovered this with a parent that came into my store. Um, I have a clothing brand about mental health awareness and breaking the stigma talking about it. And she came in and bought a t-shirt for her son who was battling mental health issues. Um, upon talking to her, it turns out that he was addicted to video games. And I could totally relate to her son. And I said something that resonated with her. And upon this, I discovered something within myself, and I feel it's really important to share with the world. So let's break it down. Why are we addicted to video games? So, so to my understanding, the reason why I've been so addicted to video games is because there's progression. Now, there's progression in life, yeah, I'm aware of that. But not in the short space of time that we are rewarded in a game. You may craft a new piece of armor, you may get a new weapon, you may kill a monster, you may gain experience and level up, you may loot something that's super cool, you may kill people and it's an achievement because they're a tough player. There's so many different facets of the game that we are able to um, see our rewards of the efforts that we're putting in in quite a quick succession. And this is something that we don't really get in life. You know, I started this business a year and three months ago, a year and four months ago, and in a year and four months, we still have not paid ourselves a cent from the business because of we have to reinvest it back into it, and granted, yes, we've managed to achieve a store, but in the whole scheme of things, it's both on Dan and I to be like, okay, so you know, keep going, you're doing great. And then he says it to me, keep going, we're going great. And luckily we have each other. But in life, we don't get that too often. You may get a parent that kind of negates you into something that they want to see you do as opposed to what you want to do and stuff like that. But it's never really someone that's all in on what you're doing because of we have so many different goals. And in a game, this leads me to the next point, is that it's mapped out on how to achieve each thing that we want to achieve. Um, I don't know if this video is a bit all over there, so I'm sorry if it takes a second to get, and maybe you have to watch it back again. But in a video game, you know, let's say you want to get from level 1 to 50. At level 50, you start to acquire best the best gear in the game, um, and start to conquer bigger, harder dungeons and stuff like that. These are all a timeline that is scheduled out for you to achieve. But in life, um, our end goal of life, whether you want to look at it this way or not, is we die. You know, in a game we don't die, we keep going till we're at the top of our tier. In real life, we die. So, we're constantly working towards death. But in that time, we have to figure out where we're going and what we're going to achieve within our lifetime. Which is an incredibly daunting task given the amount of things that we can actually achieve in our lifetime and the things that we can do. Um, and in a game, it's a lot easier, it's a lot more condensed and you can achieve that in your lifetime many times over with different characters and different outlets, avenues, different games, so many different things. And the reality is, life can be a bit drab because if we're not getting that constant reward system. 
Now I know you may roll your eyes at that, thinking social media is a constant gratification of how many likes you get and everything like that, and that's not what I'm talking about. I'm talking about seeing the achievement with your goals that you are working towards. Like I say, with the business, a year and three months has gone by. We haven't seen any financial gain. In fact, we've paid more money out than we've ever like made in the business. It's not something that we are reaping the rewards and being successful business owners, no matter what it may look like to people. And we don't know if we're going to get there. You know, it's a, it's a risk. It's a, it's a risk of life. And if we do get there and we start to see an income, then great. You know, we're working towards that. But it's not a guarantee. In a video game, it's a guarantee. You're guaranteed to get to the maximum level of the game if you keep playing. You're guaranteed to do, you know, this dungeon or that dungeon or find this group of people to do stuff with. And there's no real risk involved. Um, and I think that's kind of why we've got so addicted to it and we want to live more in a virtual reality as opposed to our reality. For those who are addicted to video games, which I hope this may help you understand your kids or why you're addicted to video games as opposed to wanting to spend more time in the real world. Um, and that's kind of the whole point of the video. Like, it's not a super long video, I hope, but it's kind of the whole point is we have video games that have our entire existence in that game space mapped out for us and we can constantly work towards those achievements and see the rewards as we go through on quite a rapid scale. And we have no real direction in our real life, you know? For those of us who are addicted to video games, we look at it as a way to be outside of this reality because if we don't actually know. Like, it's really hard. Um, to navigate that. And if you have found what you're passionate about and you love and you can keep chasing it and drive for it, like, props to you because there's not many people in the world that have that. And, you know, like, it's extremely tricky um, to learn that about yourselves. And luckily with the clothing brand, um, that's given me a purpose in life to be able to help and give people the opportunity to open up and discuss emotions, which does bring a lot of reward. And then I've also got into directing and writing movies, which also gives me a platform to express myself, because, you know, I believe creativity is the key to learning how to express and get yourself out there. Um, but for most people, they don't know what they're doing, and it took me to 33 years old to figure that out. So, you know, like, I'm not saying that I figured it out at a younger age, you're never too old, but yeah, it takes a long time to figure that out. Hence the addiction to video games, so we can focus on achieving stuff in our lives that's kind of already mapped out. Um, I don't know how much of this is going to help you guys, but it really helped me in my head like understand that reward system of video games. And to summarize it, practice stuff in real life and learn what you really love outside of video games, unless you want to design video games and create them, like, totally props to you, like, do that, like, get on board, but don't get so sucked into a game that you don't learn how to do that, because that is kind of counterproductive. Um, but yeah, just experiment with everything and anything you can whenever you've got the energy or the time. Invest more time in yourself than you do in the externals around you, um, which is an interesting word of advice from me because most people are like, just have fun, you know, go and party, do whatever you want in your spare time and stuff, but um, I would really recommend reflecting inside of what you love to do um, and starting to figure that out, because that's going to give you a happier life, and if you're happy doing your job and you're happy at work, it's not work, it's fun, and you're doing what you love, and the social circles and everyone to come around from you enjoying that, that would have 10 times more meaningful relationships than just going out and drinking and stuff. So, um, yeah, let me know what you think of this video. Uh, if you struggle with video game addiction, if you're recognizing it and you just know, you know, now acknowledging it, um, yeah, just let me know. I'd love to hear your stories. Um, I haven't played laptop video games now for like a year. I used to be really addicted to World of Warcraft, and prior to that, Dark Age of Cam Camelot. Um, that was the one that I spent 32 hours on. 
but I've managed to not play those. I do play on my phone every now and then, um, just as a side note of distraction from reality. Um, but I'm trying to limit that as much as I can and push myself into the things that I love to do that sometimes I don't have that motivation for. Um, but yeah, I'd love to know your stories and if this video has helped you because ultimately that's the whole point of making this video. And that's pretty much a wrap on this video. Uh, don't forget to hit like if you appreciate and love this video and subscribe as well if you want to follow me on my life journey because every now and then I'm going to drop in and do videos. Um, I can't hold to a schedule because life is crazy but I have got one coming up soon about a short film festival that I'm about to do. Uh, we've got a 48 hour film challenge so that should be my next video. And yeah, um, video games. What are you addicted to? Can you not play it? And have you found what your purpose is in life? Let me know. Take care guys. Have a good day.